Hello, my name is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be talking about packaging and distributing Electron apps. Um, full disclaimer, I'm going to purposely skip over talking about Windows. Uh, not because I have anything wrong with Windows, it's just packaging on Windows at the moment is still pretty complicated and it's probably should be a video of its own. Um, and it'd probably be better just to wait for the tooling to catch up with Windows and, uh, and support it there and then everything will be fine. All right, well, let's get started. Um, so I have a basic app here. Uh, you can see it's amazing. Um, I have it started. And if you've never worked with Electron um, or IOJS or, or any of that, um, then I recommend uh, an earlier video I did about getting started with um, creating Electron apps. Um, we're just going to be using this basic template or this basic app here. There's, there's nothing fancy about it. It just opens a window that loads in this index file that just says, look at this amazing app. So. That's all this does. So the first thing we want to do is install Electron Packager. And so we're going to do that with npm i or npm install Electron dash Packager. And then we're going to do dash dash save dev, save it to our dev dependencies. Uh, that way next time we type npm i, we will get that installed. So now we have this Electron binary already that came from Electron prebuilt to start up and develop our app. Uh, Electron Packager um, also installs a binary called Electron Packager. So we're going to create another NPM script here called build. And in here we'll say Electron Packager. Now this takes um, some parameters. The first parameter is the location of our app. And since this is just uh, the current folder, we're just going to put a dot here. And then the second parameter is the name of our app. So we're going to say my app here. Um, and this will be what it uses to, uh, to call your app. So now that we have this build script, we can go here and we can type npm run build and run it. And as you'll see, it will create a myapp.app fo uh, folder for you, which if we open up the folder here, you can see we have an application. We can double click it and we can run it and we get our amazing app. So now maybe you don't want this uh, little blue icon, little electron icon. You want to use your own icon here. Um, and uh, so if you if you look at the folder, um, it really is just a folder. Um, and so here you'll notice that there's this atom.ics in the uh, contents resources folder. Um, we just want to change that with our own icon here uh, after building. And so to do that, we can just simply uh, do it on the command line. We'll put an and, and uh, to say after this uh, electron packager has ran, uh, we're going to copy our own thing. So we'll say copy uh, and our file is called icon.icns. And then we want to copy it into uh, the myapp.app uh, contents resources uh, atom dot I C and S. And um, so now we need to delete our app and rebuild. And so I'm going to do that by typing rm dash rf. Uh, and then I'm just going to delete this entire my app dot app folder. And now I'm going to rerun uh, npm run build to rebuild the app. And after it rebuilds the app, it's going to copy our icon into um, the correct location. And as you see here, we, we get our icon uh, on our app. And even when we open it, um, you can see we get our icon in the dock um, for our amazing app. So something to be uh, careful about is to ensure that no uh, node modules or, or things uh, go into your app that don't belong there. So you'll notice here, if we go into our folder, um, the app and the, the source code, you'll notice that we have Electron Packager and Electron Prebuilt. And both of these are just to help us with development. So we really shouldn't uh, include those in our app because uh, it's just wasting space. Um, so Electron Packager here has an option um, that we can say to ignore files. And so we do dash dash ignore, and then we say equals, and node modules, electron. And so basically anything that starts with electron dash, we're just going to ignore that. And what that will do is it will ignore any you know, electron packager and electron prebuilt. So now we can go ahead and um, destroy our previous app and do npm run build and rebuild our app. And you'll notice here uh, when we go into um, our app, 
the node modules is not is now clean and you should definitely do this if any any dependencies you have that are just for development you should ignore them another thing you may have noticed is that your app is completely exposed to the public and you may not want that um, so you, maybe you want to deter users from going in and editing the app um, so to do that there's a archive utility called ASAR um, so we're going to do npm install ASAR and we're going to save that to our dev dependencies here and um, just like Electron Electron Packager uh, will have this ASAR uh, um, dependency available to us and so we're going to go ahead and create another um, npm script called package and it, using this we're going to say ASAR uh, to the first parameter is pack because we want to package it up and what we need to do is we the first parameter is what we're going to package up um, and so we're going to be packaging up this uh, this app folder here. So we can say uh, my app uh, dot app uh, contents resources app. Oops, sorry slash app. So this is the folder we're going to be packaging up. And then the file that we're going to be uh, archiving to, uh, let's just name it app dot uh, The same thing, and it'll be in the same folder here. Uh, so now when we run npm run package what will happen is it will create this ASAR, app.asar file uh, that is the representation of our app folder and so now that we have that we can go ahead and delete this folder because it's no longer necessary as part of our app but if you go and run the app um, you'll see that it still uh, opens up and is still amazing so uh, packaging up on Linux is uh, more or less the same um, and if you want more information on uh, specific uh, specifics regarding uh, application distribution and, and, and whatnot, um, go to uh, the github.com slash atom slash electron and in the docs folder um, there's this application distribution um, docs that uh, has more information about uh, packaging up your app um, and modifying um, your app's contents. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you know how to package up and distribute your apps. Um, if you did, uh, please uh, share the video. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.